Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 10-inch Never Adjust right hand passenger side electric trailer brake assembly for 3,500 pound axles. Now electric brakes, they're easier to install, they offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they require only an electric brake controller, which we do sell separately on our website, so there's no actuator hydraulic lines necessary. Now this part here will include one 10 inch by two and a quarter inch right hand passenger side electric trailer brake assembly with the mounting hardware. Now the brake shoes on this assembly, they're lined with automotive grade friction material, and that friction material is fully bonded, it's not riveted to the shoes, gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. This assembly is a never adjust brake, which means it automatically adjusts to deliver optimum performance and braking power. No need for any manual brake adjustments. And the way you can tell a self-adjusting brake or a never adjust brake is you'll see a cable runs around a pulley, attaches to a lever right down here. That'll automatically adjust your adjustment wheel down here. So basically when you install this, you make your initial adjustment. And then from then on, as you use your brakes, it will self-adjust. And what's nice is proper adjustment will lead to better brake efficiency and less wear on your tow vehicle's brakes. What's nice on this assembly, let me just turn it around to the backing plate. At the very bottom, there's two holes. Those holes are used to adjust your brakes. On a lot of brake assemblies, they'll leave those holes open. On this one, they do include the rubber adjuster plugs in there. What's nice about that, it covers those holes to keep dirt and grime out of your brake assemblies and off your shoes. Also, if you notice the four threaded studs here, that's a four bolt brake mounting flange bolt pattern. Comes with the mounting nuts. Now this part is made in the USA. The dimension on it is a 10 inch diameter by two and a quarter inch width. And what those measurements need, we're gonna measure them here. Got your ruler. The diameter is from this shoe all the way over to this shoe. That'll get your 10 inch diameter. And the width is two and a quarter inches and the width they're measuring is the width of the pad on the brake shoe. So there's your two and a quarter inch width. <clears throat> Weight capacity on this brake assembly is 1,750 pounds per assembly. So when this is used with one on the other side of the axle, it'll meet your 3,500 pound axle rating. This brake assembly does use 10 inch drums. The wheel size that'll fit on this is diameter of 13 inch, 14 inch, or 15 inch diameter. And these are electric brakes, so if you look at the back, you'll see two green wires sticking out. These do need to be connected. One goes to the brake feed, one goes to a good ground. And they're both green wires, so either wire can be used for either function. And the last thing I do want to show you is we get a lot of questions on how can you tell the difference between a left-hand side assembly and a right-hand side assembly. Of course, on a new assembly, there'll be a sticker that'll tell you that. But if there's no sticker, the easiest way is just look at your length of the pad on your shoes. This pad goes from here to here. This one's from here all the way over to here. This is a longer pad. This is the shorter pad. Shorter pad is your primary shoe. That means it faces the front of the trailer. So that'll tell you that this is the right-hand passenger side assembly. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 10-inch Never Adjust right-hand passenger side electric trailer brake assembly for 3,500 pound axles.